Okay, so welcome students and uh, uh, today we will uh, demonstrate how we can obtain a, a motoring mode of a DC motor by using a power electronics. As we have seen in a previous video that how V by F is working or V by F is uh, demonstrated by using same hardware. Okay, simply changing in program or uh, some hardware setup, we can change the speed of induction motor. So, but today we will demonstrate how DC motor, DC operation of a motor in a first and second quadrant can be obtained from a same hardware setter, setup. So, I just uh, go to a system block diagram. So, here you see this is the block diagram of whole control mechanism for a DC motor control. So today our objective is to obtain motoring and braking mode of a DC motor using IGBT based DC chopper. Now for uh, control of a DC motor we required a power electronics converter okay and in this practical we have used a chopper that converted DC to uh, uh, fixed DC to variable DC and fixed DC is obtained from a rectifier. So you see here in previously we can explain we explain that the rectifier block is this one. So this is the three phase uh, fixed control rectifier. So we require required to do give a uh, RYB three phase. Okay. And according to the input we get a output DC ripple output voltage. Okay. Now this DC ripple is given to your capacitor this is called as a DC link capacitor. So here we get a smooth DC output. So fixed DC is obtained from a variable power supply. So I just connect a transformer with the three phase supply. So I can fix a DC link voltage over here as we required to a, a, a motor terminal. Okay. So maximum voltage at here we can set according to the uh, rating of motor. So I just use a rectifier to convert this uh, AC into DC fixed DC and then chopper is here is nothing but it is a IGBT based chopper. So this is the circuit diagram as you see here this input DC link voltage is given to that circuit and circuit have contained uh, four switches. So we studied in lecture class that we required four quadrant operation for a DC motor so that we required four IGBT as well as four anti parallel diode. So here T1, T2, T3 and T4. For a motoring mode we should keep T4 is always on and we can make a duty with T1 so that it can fire a, a voltage across the output terminal. So here A terminal and B is connected to our DC motor load. So here in our practical we use a 1 HP 220 volt armature uh, voltage uh, DC motor across that terminal. So this is the uh, chopper circuit diagram and this block is uh, already inbuilt the hardware of uh, this power module as we have studied as we have seen in a, a previous lecture that uh, previous video that this is the module that contain a DC rectifier as well as uh, IGBT stack uh, converter okay. So this converter can be used for a AC application AC drive as well as DC drive. So the IGBT pulses is given from the port over here so we can apply a, a IGBT switching from your hardware is a level shifter or a optical isolation is there okay to convert a 5 volt to 15 volt and provide a opto isolation between a high and low voltage. Similarly <coughs> the DC motor is there this is the separately excited DC motor so we require to connect a armature terminal to output output of this converter to a armature terminal of motor and separately field winding is given from a uh, our another hardware block which convert a, which have a, a diode rectifier single phase diode rectifier and this will apply to your motor to a field fixed uh, field excitation okay similarly the load is connected uh, to that motor to applying uh, electrical loading yeah, and uh, we require to measure how the duty the speed is depend on the duty of this converter so we need to measure a uh, speed so here speed encoder is there to measure the, the real time speed and uh, we can scaling or filter out from the circuit okay or uh, now again this uh, speed of pulses is given to our DSP controller 
so dsp has a various uh, is a have a inbuilt algorithm which have defined by a user so we can interface this from a pc or using some various uh, output uh, user, uh, serial uh, communication from a, another uh, another setup so we can burn a program from a pc so i program programmed a dsp to control a dc motor with a variable duty cycle okay so now this dsp is given a pulses for all four igbts like t1 t2 t3 and t4 for in which the requirement of the operation if it is a motoring mode or a braking mode okay so it is depend on the t1 and t2 t3 t4 Uh, gate pulses and that gate pulses is defined by user program okay so now this is the hardware uh, system block diagram and the hardware is uh, uh, here so dsp is there and level shifting is there some user interface power supply is there okay and uh, here this emitter is uh, given a input voltage this is a current through the motor it is given armature current similarly output voltage is given by this multimeter so if you change the duty so output is input is fixed but output you can change from uh, variable duty so another one the, we use a dso2 uh, uh, visualize the input signal so here channel 1 is connected to your pwm t1 similarly channel 4 is green color is showing for a, a t4 uh, sorry t2 uh, gate pulse similarly this uh, pink color is given for uh, your uh, output okay dc output and uh, blue one is your for current signal of a armature so now i just apply a input supply to my system and see that how it is respond now again the uh, serial communication is placed over here to see what is the speed is there and uh, what is the duty is there okay is there a motor is working in a Uh, in a braking mode or a motoring mode we can see from this gui interface so now i just uh, run this system again okay so you can see here at initially we set a duty cycle is 61% okay and now motor is work in a motoring mode so you see here there is the gate pulse is there so yellow one is your gate pulse and it have a frequency of 500 hertz so i uh, chopping frequency of switch is 500 hertz okay if you change the duty from the uh, user interface so here you can change the duty cycle so you can see i press the duty cycle so duty is change okay so now frequency is same but duty uh, cycle is approximately 97% which can be seen from this gui interface so again if you can see if i reduce the duty cycle then again duty is here down and the pulse width is decreases so now i need to run the motor so i just uh, apply the power supply so first i need to uh, excite the motor with a uh, field excitation so i just on a field wire field uh, uh, terminal voltage to a dc motor and uh, again see that how the output is reflected as according to duty cycle variation now i just on or set the uh, dc voltage from motor transformer so for a here we use a 220 volt dc motor so that you can see as i set the dt Uh, the input voltage dc ceiling voltage is 207 current from the uh, motor is drawn drawn, drawn by uh, 0.3 ampere okay because we not applying uh, any load over here similarly output we get 120 128 voltage over here so the duty is here it is nothing but 47% so you can see here the duty size ratio of the uh, pulse is given like approximately 47 percentage so we get a output voltage over here similarly output current is there so when t1 switch is on then the current is rising means the input supply is uh, output supply output voltage is same as the input is reflected so at that time the output is here okay same as you can see that the main voltage of output voltage is 136 volt 
so we can say that the duty ratio is 47 percent so we get a 136 voltage over here so when at the time of when switch is on then current is rising okay because it is the motor is connected to the input supply okay so that it is rising so it uh, speed speed up and then if the switch is off then suddenly the output voltage is approximately zero as well as current is going decrease because this current is going from d2 diode okay from the hardware in the block diagram we see that the uh, uh, current is the neg uh, negative slope current is drawn by a d2 diode okay so if here this is the discontinuous manner so because the current is zero so that we get here back emf so uh, here at the current the, uh, the current is zero so due to the motor is running not providing a braking over here so it have a some back emf voltage over here so as you change the duty cycle the speed is also changed so so now you see here the current is continuous so we not get here a back emf because duty ratio is approximately 76 percent and speed of motor is also 1243 rpm okay so as you can increase the duty cycle the speed of the motor is increase okay as well as if you want to decrease the speed the output terminal voltage is decrease as well as motor speed is decrease okay so you can see here this from this uh, uh, dso also okay and uh, we can say that from this method we can control the dc motor speed okay so by using duty ratio as well as if you want to uh, see the graph so you need to stop it and uh, see that how the waveforms are appear so you just on it okay so now you can see at that time the motor is at a zero means it is a motoring mode okay so as you apply here a gate pulse as you apply here the system's power supply we get here a constant duty cycle is approximately 47 so the speed is this one as well as if you change the duty ratio okay by 80 approximately 78 percent then speed is also increased as well as you can change you can say that it's a proportional relation between the duty ratio as well as motor speed okay so i think you got it the how the motoring operation is done from uh, a dc chopper okay thank you very much and uh, next so uh, uh, this is all about uh, motoring mode of a dc motor so now we will go for a dc a motor braking mo mode operation so you see here from the block diagram for a braking mode we required here to on the switch t2 so suppose that if motor is run then t1 is fired so motor is operate in a motoring mode as well as when we want to stop the motor suddenly or regenerative braking uh, is provided uh, so, so that we can on we need to off this t, uh, t1 switch and on suddenly to t2 switch so according to the duty ratio over here when t2 is on the current is flow through this the load is negative okay because here is the back emf which is uh, present in motor is a um, k omega phi so similarly we can see that motor is rotating assume that the motor is rotating then the current is flow through the t2 when switch t2 is operate and at that time when switch t2 is on the we get a voltage over here is zero okay but if t2 is off then suddenly the current is negative current that uh, the inductor is charged so that potential can be uh, given to a, your input supply so that can be passed from d1 so at when we providing a braking from this method so we can assume that we can see that the negative current is can be passed from uh, d1 and supply so this is the regenerative braking of a motor so how it can be implement uh, just go through the uh, hardware setup okay so now you see here this is the gate pulse for uh, your motor okay uh, yellow one if you change the t2 pulse then t1 should be on so off and t1 is a, a, a t2 is on so i just need to increase the speed of motor so you can 
uh, see that performance as well as we can also see to in a this scope that uh, how it is this is uh, motoring mode okay so now the speed is that okay so if you want to increase so now this is motor is operate at uh, approximately 45 duty percent and uh, speed is this one so if you see if i suddenly change the t2 switch then how the current and voltage is reflected we can sense from this power oscilloscope okay so so as you see i just if i suddenly change the motoring mode to braking mode you can sense the current is uh, negative at that time so now the uh, system is uh, uh, working in a motoring mode i just press the switch from here from user interface to convert a operation from motoring mode to braking mode so you just see here i just press the negative current is come and motor the current is zero so now motor is stopped so uh, speed is approximately zero and here the operation is one means braking mode operation is there okay now if you see we get a pulse over here same pulse so uh, the uh, pulse at at the channel 2 channel 2 we get a pulse approximately 53 duty percent and channel 1 is uh, having a zero zero pulse means uh, we not fire t1 switch we just only fire t2 switch so again i uh, show the waveform how the current is uh, change when the you shift from braking mode uh, sorry motoring mode to braking so i just again go, want to go in from motoring mode so i just you just need to press it so this switch t1 is on okay so as t1 is on motor is again start and output voltage is reflected current is there okay so now i need to stop the oscilloscope at that time that instant when i shift one motoring mode to uh, braking mode so you can highlight this so at that time the current is positive okay if you see the current is positive this is the reference line the current is positive so i am uh, i am going to change the motoring mode to braking mode so just okay so you can see here the output uh, gate pulse across the uh, t1 switch is zero but the t2 switch having a duty ratio of approximately 53% and the current is going to zero negative okay and motor is suddenly stopped because this is negative current when switch is on then we get output voltage is zero when switch is off then the voltage over here is greater than the input voltage so that the current is going rising okay so uh, we can say that uh, uh, the current is rising over here when switch is off then the current is uh, rising because this current is flow from load to source okay and when switch is on then again current uh, through the inductor have uh, a charge okay so this is the profile for a motoring and braking mode so again if i need to change the motoring mode so we just apply it so now you see here the current is in positive similarly voltage is there okay and gate pulse t2 is zero so from this method we can see that how the motoring and uh, braking mode is possible from this one okay so now the speed is zero suppose that and motoring mode is here is uh, apply braking mode is apply over here so you need to stop it and see that how the real time data is a uh, uh, log to your system so now this first one is your uh, motor uh, motoring mode when it is zero and it is high then it is a braking mode okay so you can see here when motor is motoring mode then it have a duty cycle 45% then motor is rotate at a rpm approximately 1000 similarly when you apply a, a one okay means it is a braking mode then suddenly the the you can see here the duty ratio of a braking is a approximately 53% so motor is suddenly going to decrease its speed it is a zero so again i need to uh, uh, change the operation of motor so again i going to motoring mode so motor is take a speed is very is a, in a first is a case similar to because the duty ratio is same in both case so the speed is going increase again i change the shift the operation from motoring mode to braking so motor is change to its 
zero RPM. Okay. So from this method, we can say that uh, the duty ratio we can select from uh, T2 switch how you uh, how you need to stop the motor as soon as fast. Okay. So I hope that you understand the basic uh, principle and uh, how it is demonstrate how to make a hardware in a real time application to control the speed of motor of a DC motor and uh, provide a operation in a DC uh, uh, in a uh, motoring mode as well as braking mode. So thank you, thank you very much.